brands that we love, and we've uh, used them. We've made some ads for them, basically. Oops, excuse me. Now, these folks are not endorsing us in any way. Uh, they haven't even seen this stuff. Uh, we just love these brands and, and, and uh, use them to make some fun ads. So let's say this is an app, this is an app that gives me some entertainment news. And uh, at the bottom, I have a Toy Story 3 banner. Toy Story 3 is an awesome movie that uh, Disney's putting out uh, in June. And uh, so I click on that banner. I've seen it. It's really good. <laughs> And so you click on the, on, the, on the banner, and we take over the screen. The ad takes over the screen, comes down with animation. All this stuff is done in HTML5, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it's really easy to do. And uh, you see animation, everything else. Now, you see that X up at the top there? If I just tap on that X, I go immediately back to my app right where I left off. So the user at any time can say, take me back to my app. This disappears, and I'm back in my app. So let's go explore this ad, right? which is really a, kind of a universe here. There's a snake in my boat. You know, so I can listen to the characters. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Golly, Bob, howdy. And I've got some videos here. Again, this is a little HTML5 gizmo that uh, is made available to you know developers, and they can just you know they can make their own stuff like this too. It's real easy. And so I'm going to just pick a video here, and uh, hmm. <laughs> right. And of course, if I wanted to, I could uh, just turn this 90 degrees and watch it this way. All right, I guess I have to say play. Hmm. Me. And again, this is all streamed video right onto the phone. And uh, they've included a game in this ad. And uh, well, we've included a game in this ad. And uh, <laughs> so here we go. This is a simple game, and I get to. Uh, Look and see where things are, so that's fine. I'm not very good at these things usually, but I. So there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is this is good. So, so I've got a game. I've got posters, uh, and I can just tap here and have them as wallpaper. So again, the advertiser can just uh, give me some wallpaper for my phone, and uh, users like free stuff. Um, Theaters, if I want to see where uh, the movie's playing, there it is right there. All right? We know our location. There's a theater. And uh, so I've got my location. And there's a Toy Story Mania game that I can buy right in this ad. I don't even have to go to the App Store. The ad can sell me the game right here, and I can push this button, and it'll download right onto my phone. So this is an example. Uh, of a new kind of mobile ad. Have you ever seen an ad like this? You know? Anything even close? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Let's review. Multitasking, folders, dramatically enhanced mail client, iBooks, much deeper enterprise features, a preview of game kit, and iAd. And these are just seven of the over 100 user features and over 1,500 new developer APIs in iPhone 4. Now, we are releasing a developer preview today. Developers can start testing it now, can start using these new APIs now to enhance their apps. And you can get it today at developer.apple.com. We are releasing it to end users for iPhone and iPod Touch this summer. And that's for the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch third generation. That is iPods that we shipped last fall in 32 and 64 gigabyte models. And they will run pretty much everything. And 
for iPhone 3G and iPod Touch second generation, they will run many things. But there are some things they will not run because the hardware doesn't support them, like multitasking. So iPhone 3 and iPod Touch second generation will not support the multitasking. The hardware just can't do it. But iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch third generation will support everything you've seen today. So summer. And we're bringing iPhone OS 4 to the iPad this fall. All these features on the iPad. So that's iPhone OS 4. And I really want to thank you for coming today.